Instead of living your life out of fear of what you've seen go wrong, live your life in faith, focusing on what the Bible puts before us as the model. Welcome back to the Straight Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Philpott, and we're glad you've joined us today. As always, I'm joined by Richard Caldwell, the pastor of Founders Baptist Church. And our special guest today is Dr. Nicholas Ellen, a senior professor at the College of Biblical Studies and also pastor at Community of Faith Bible Church. As always, please leave a comment for us in the comment section and do us a favor and please go to the iTunes podcast section and leave us a review. Well, today we have a question about marriage. Uh, we have a question from a, a young man who says that he wants to have a strong marriage mm. and a strong family life uh, for, for the rest of his days. So I'm wondering from you guys, what, what would you say are the keys to having a strong and lasting marriage at home? Before I give my answer, let me address why I think sometimes people ask that question. Because, I mean, the answer is obvious as we'll talk about. It's, it's building your life on the truths of Scripture. It's building your life on Christ, your marriage on Christ, and on the truths revealed in Scripture for marriage. But I think the reason why people ask that question sometimes is maybe they come from a background, a group in a home broken. where it wasn't solid. Yeah, broken home, a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, and they're worried perhaps about repeating that. You know, I don't have a good model that I grew up in. Now I'm about to get married. I'm afraid that we may one day head down the same road. And I would just encourage young couples, we tend to be conformed to our focus. Uh, sometimes, for example, someone has, uh, let's say, an angry father, and they say to themselves, I will never be like him, right? So bitterness builds, and I'll never be like that. And then amazingly, they turn out to be just like their father because they live their entire life sort of focused on their father, what they don't want to be. Well, in the same sort of way, we can do that with marriage. You know, I saw my parents' marriage struggle, so I want to be, make sure I don't do this and I don't do that. And I want to encourage people to think differently. Instead of focusing on what you're not going to be, focus on what you're going to be. Set your focus on what Scripture teaches. Uh, live your lives. Uh, for, you know, a, a good marriage begins with selection, right? So who am I going to marry? Marry someone who loves the Lord. Marry mm -hmm. someone who genuinely, unmistakably is born again. Um, make sure that you're born again, mm -hmm. and then marry someone who loves the Lord Jesus Christ. So then build your, your lives out of reverence for the Lord in every aspect. Pay attention to what he says about the fact that marriage is a lifelong union with one man, one woman for life. So you're not even going to consider divorce. You're not going to let your mind go in those areas. You're going to pursue sexual purity. Uh, you're going to believe the Bible and, and obey the Scriptures when it speaks to those issues. Husbands are going to strive to love their wives as Christ loved the church. Wives are going to see that they respect their husbands and, and live out what the Bible teaches about being a wife. So it's building your life on Christ in the Scriptures. But first, I just want to say, let that be your focus. Mm. Instead of living your life out of fear of what you've seen go wrong, live your life in faith, focusing on what the Bible puts before us as the model. Mm -hmm. I'd love to take what Richard said and put the application of it together because he hit it dead on the head. And I would say to a person, number one, live by the covenant and not by your mood. Amen. Uh, part of the challenge is mm. that people tend to be consumed with how they feel in the moment mm. versus their covenant conviction of the moment. That's right, yeah. And if you can learn 2 Corinthians 5, which says Christ died that those who live might no longer live for themselves. Mm. The key to a marriage is that the marriage is not about you. It's about God's glory. Amen. And how do I die to self mm. so that I can be the tool that God uses to invest into my spouse, that they could be all of what God intended mm -hmm. for his glory and uh, hence the good of the culture, good of the marriage. But the key is God is into the transformation business. We have been called from sin to know him, mm -hmm. to become like him, to be useful to him. Mm -hmm. You are to come alongside your spouse and help lead in that process. So I would encourage people that because what I see too often in marriage counseling, People say, well, we have marital problems. And I say, you don't have marital problems. <laughs> you have character deficiencies mm. that showed up in the marriage. Mm. That's good. And part mm. of that is lack of understanding your role, 
lack of commitment to your mold, uh, your role, mm -hmm. consumed with your mood and not the covenant. So those mm. would be, for me, crucial foundational things mm. to living a God-honoring marriage. Mm. Yeah. That's excellent, Nick. You know, it reminds me of something. I'm not going to get this exactly right, but I'm going to be in the ballpark. Uh, John Piper wrote a little book on marriage. And in that book, he said, it's marriage that sustains love, not love that sustains marriage. Amen. In other words, he was saying our view of marriage uh, fuels our ongoing love for each other. So out of mm. the conviction of the covenant, we love each other. So it's good. Well, thanks again for joining us for the Straight Truth Podcast. And you can find more details about this podcast by going to our website, straighttruth.net. And there you can subscribe to any of our social media channels. But also be sure to go to iTunes and please subscribe to our podcast feed and be sure to leave us a review. Now, Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries. And you can find more details by going to walkingingrace.org. Thanks again.